Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Grow Kit. Uh, so we're out on the veg patch again today. Uh, it's the 10th of July today. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be sowing some more seeds today. So I thought I'd do a video, show you what I'm sowing in July. Uh, so there's quite a few things you can still sow in July. Uh, we've got uh, beans that you probably get away with, peas uh, possibly. Uh, I'm going to try some parsnips. Uh, I'm going to stick some more carrots in and some more beetroot in and uh, probably some more radishes uh, maybe a couple of other things I've got a few empty spots in the in these two beds here uh, so I just want to kind of chuck some stuff in and see how it goes uh, that's all you can do really uh, you, you go by what it says on the seed packets but uh, majority of the time you get away with a little bit later doesn't really make too much difference uh, hopefully we still get harvest and if not and it's a learning curve so Anyway, uh, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm sewing today. Okay, uh, so these are the seeds which I've selected uh, that I'm going to be sowing today uh, in Ju 10th of July. Uh, like I said, um, we've got the carrots. Most of these say you can sow them up to July, so uh, this should be okay. We get some of them in. And the radishes, obviously. You can sow these any time between March uh, to September because uh, they only take about a month to actually grow. Um, the boar beans does say up to June, but they grow quite fast, so I'm going to give them a go. Uh, I've got two types of boar beans here, the Sutton and Oscar. Uh, I'm, I've got three types of carrots as well, but I'm not, probably not going to sow all three types. Um, so I might just try these two. I'm not sure yet. Um, we've got beetroot here, which says March to July. We're in July, like I said, so give them a go. And some peas. Now, these say only up to June, but I think we'll be fine with them, so I'm going to stick some of them in. And I've got this free with a magazine. Uh, this is a seed tape, easy sow seed tape, parsnip, white gems. So uh, it says on here up to June again we're in July but we're early July so we should be fine with them uh, so anyway uh, I'm going to set the camera up over there and I'll show you what I'm up to okay guys uh, so this is what I've come up with I've laid out the seed packets where I plan to sow them and uh, obviously I've got to prepare the ground first get all the weeds out and give it a quick tidy up uh, so I'm going to go with broad beans next to the parsnips in here um, over here I'm going to do carrots beetroot carrots try and leave a bit more room in between because as you can see I've got a terrible habit of planting things way too close together and there's a row of onions in there being completely swamped out uh, by the beetroot so uh, I'm going to spread them out a little bit more than I normally do and I've got another empty bit over here, uh, which again I've got to get in there and get all the weeds in it out. Uh, so I'm going to do peas along here because they're the tallest thing, uh, followed by the beans, followed by the radishes along there. Uh, so uh, what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and I'll get back to you in a minute. Alright guys, uh, so I'm just briefly going to show you how I'm going to do this. Uh, so with the radishes, all I'm going to do is do a drill for them along here. Uh, just use a bit of bamboo or anything really. And just make a shallow drill trench uh, for the seeds to go in. Uh, if you want to get it nice and straight, you can lay the bamboo down and then tread on it. Uh, but I'm not too bothered if it's straight or not. 
Uh, and for the peas and beans, I'm just gonna go around and poke holes for them to go in. So uh, the peas says two to five centimeters apart and it's about the same for the beans, I think. Uh, so I'll get all these, uh, I'll get them ready and I'll get back to you when I start sowing the seeds. All right, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but uh, I've put the two bits of string up um, and then I've just went around and poked some holes in. Uh, a couple of centimetres deep, two, three centimetres deep. Um, so I'm going to start with the peas. And as you can see, they're just dried out peas. So uh, we're just going to put one or two in each hole. I'll probably go with two because uh, I've got hundreds of these, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'll do the same with the beans. And the radishes, I'm just going to sprinkle along the trench and then cover them over. Uh, so. Uh, not really much point in me showing you uh, me doing the whole thing, but uh, I'll show you the peas. <laughs> so, just literally drop a couple in each hole. And then I'll get the rest done and I'll cover them all over. Okay, so uh, they're all sewn now, so uh, it's just a case of covering all the holes. And cover them all over. Um, these are the radish seeds, see they're a lot smaller. Uh, try and aim for about a centimetre or two apart, uh, but it's not going to happen really. <laughs> uh, I'll just tend to sprinkle them in doesn't really matter too much uh, so i'll get them done guys and then uh, i'll get the seeds sown in these two and i'll get back to you okay guys uh, so i'm just about to sow the parsnips um as i said they're they're on this tape um perfectly spaced apart and this suppresses the weeds as well so uh, i thought i'd show you these so Never tried these before, but you can see there where the seeds are along there. And basically, what you do is you dig a little trench and you bury this under the ground. Um, it's, only way I can describe it is the uh, seeds sandwiched in between like toilet paper or tissue paper. <laughs> yeah, so. You just roll it out along the trench and then bury it under about a centimetre or two of soil and they should germinate hopefully. Anyway, um, I'll crack on and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay guys, uh, so uh, I've just been and um, put a row of carrots, a row of beetroots and then another row of carrots there and uh, just a recap on what we did here uh, with the half snips uh, with the seed tape and the beans along that side and here we did radish uh, beans again a different variety of beans along there and peas along there so um, I have to get in there and weed. Uh, everything else is doing well. Uh, some flowers are now officially taller than me. Uh, so Nick, if you're watching, I'll be doing a sunflower challenge 2020 update soon. Uh, these ones over here are way taller than me now. They're almost as tall as the hedge, about seven foot. Um, the seeds are coming on for the onions and all the beans in there and sweet corn pumpkins taken over there and tomatoes all need the suckers sorting out and side shoots and everything else seems to be doing well except for the brassicas I might just give up on brassicas uh, they just get eaten by everything <laughs> anyway um, we'll get back to you in a second guys 
Okay, everyone, uh, so that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, so all in all, we got seven rows of seeds sown. Um, these are July seeds, so it's 10th of July today, like I said already. Uh, so anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't done so. And I hope you'll like the video. And feel free to leave a comment if you've got any questions or any advice. Uh, or just just want to leave a comment. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.